The 2018 Land Rover Defender won't look at all like the concepts. So uh, why did they even make them? Yeah, I'll tell you. Are you a wannabe celebrity with a G-Wagon? Well, now you can customize it directly from Mercedes. Good for you. Oh, good for you. Oh, that's nice. And it's not ironic that Hyundai is teasing the Ionic, don't you think? Plus, we get all up in that 2017 Mercedes-Benz E-Class. Yeah, we go up in there. It's nice. And it's hump day. So Friends Day Wednesday is going to be like, Is that the only sound you got? Yeah, I'm out of sound. Let's try a new one. Ow! There it is. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D. This is Fast Lane Daily, baby, baby! All right, in yesterday's episode, we did the guess the car game, and let me just say that you guys are way off. Yes, so keep guessing, folks. Watch yesterday's episode or visit our Facebook or Twitter page to see this picture again. Well, I guess you're also seeing it here right now, but you know what I mean. But yeah, you guys are way off. Last week, you are like, oh, it's a Dodge Durango, Derek. Yeah, you're not so quick this week. You're not so quick, Jack. So you better go guess the car. If you want to get a shout out right here, Moretti K. Mm -hmm. Sure is. Okay, even though it's truly made for rugged terrain and some off roading, the Mercedes Benz G Class has become more of a celebrity and people famous for no reason kind of car to drive around Hollywood and look cool in and customize. Well, all these people, these people always want to customize their car, so Mercedes is now going to offer a certain level of customization without making you go to West Coast Customs. That's right, the new G-Class Designo Manufacture. Designo, Designo. No, man. Anyway, it offers a range of personalized choices and a studio in Graz, Austria, where the G-Class is built, will add exclusive colors and hand-finished touches. Some of them reserved only for the AMG models. The new exterior colors include a roof that can be drenched in obsidian black and sheet metal dressed in non-metallic fire opal. Metallic designo. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Uh, Mauritius blue metallic and matte hues like designo yellow olive magno. Come on with these words, these names. You could also add different wheels, uh, red seat belts, carbon fiber trimmings, and more. Okay, all, all right. We get it. You can customize your G Wagon. How much more do I need to say? Yeah, directly for Mercedes. Okay? Go drive it around Beverly Hills, have fun. Drive it down 8th Avenue here in New York City. Hyundai released a teaser for a new model called the Ionic, I-O-N-I-Q, which will be the first car ever to offer three electrified powertrain options in a single body. The name apparently refers to elements of its creation because an ion is an electrically charged atom. The second part talks about the unique offering in it brings to the Hyundai range, and the Q is acknowledging the fresh new approach of this advanced low emission model. Wait, the Q? Isn't the Q already used in the word unique? Ion and unique, I get it. Ionic. They've already used the Q. No reason to add another Q or try to sell us on that the Q means something. You already used the Q. You can't just go around using cues however you damn well please. They have feelings. The cue the is quirky. Respect that. All right? Anyway, this car brings a fully electric version, EV, with a high capacity lithium ion battery, a plug in hybrid, PHEV, combining the fuel efficient energy with the battery power, boosting its range and cutting its CO2 emissions, and the hybrid, HEV that uses a gasoline burner and the motion of the car to charge the onboard battery. Did you understand that? Good, because I'm not sure I did. But you, AK? I'm just kidding, I got it down. In related news, isn't it ionic? Don't you think? It's Icon Day, but you think it's a Benz. It's a new car, but you don't want to tell all your friends. Because people like are like, oh. Oh, I don't want to say I drive a Hyundai. Bring it into a lot of smart set. See what I did there? Hater. 
Erica's a hater. She's mad at me from the Periscope earlier. Yep. Interior images of the new Mercedes-Benz E-Class have been released, and here they are. Looking all sorts of freshy fresh. The 2017 Mercedes E-Class will get a completely new interior that seems to be the perfect blend of the new C-Class and the high-end S-Class. That widescreen instrument cluster you see is an option available with Command Online and has two displays, each with a 12.3 inch screen diagonally and a resolution of 1920 by 720 pixels. So we're talking HD here, AK. Sure are. The driver can choose between three different styles named Classic, Sport, and Progressive. You know, depending on your mood that day, sure. The entry level models will get a more traditional setup with two analog gauges. Uh, separated by a 7-inch screen and an 8.4-inch central display in the middle. There you go. Looks good. I like it. Now, while we wait for Land Rover to follow up on its ancient but infinitely useful and cool Defender off-roader, due in two years, the company has let out an interesting bit of info. Land Rover designer Jerry McGovern said that the 2018 Defender SUV will not look like the Defender concepts that debuted a few years ago. You remember, right? There's this uh, blue one that looks like it's on the PCH, Pacific Coast Highway, this white one in the desert, and this red one in the snow. So yeah, it's not gonna look like those. Interesting stuff, or as I like to call it, waste of money. You made three different concepts, functioning concepts, that you're not using at all. That's what I'm saying. You got something for me, Tom? Yeah. What's up? The farmer. The farmer? Yeah. I'm going to text you the picture that he sent to us. So we did a periscope right before this, and there was, a, uh, there was a guy who said he stopped farming to watch the periscope. That's the picture he sent in. Awesome. Fans, follow me on Periscope, the Derek D. We do it every Wednesday. Okay. Now for Friends Day Wednesday. Let's see what the FOD faithful are up to, AK. Go for it, Derek D. Let's do it. First up is FOD fan Michael Schubert, who emailed us this pic of a stretch holiday in Nissan Leaf limo. And he simply wrote in the email, Weird. Well, you're right, Mike. That is weird. Moving on. Next is Arendale Withers. He emailed us a pic of this smart car with a Mercedes logo on it. And I'll let you get away with that because smart is owned by Mercedes. Still dumb to put a logo on there. But the license plate says, too smart. Yeah, well, apparently not that smart because two should have two O's. You're not going to a place named smart. You're not smart. I'm trying to be... Too smart. What do you do when Ken Block walks into your work? You take a picture with him and you send it into FLD. That's what Meshcat Merzay, hope I said your last name right, Merzay, uh, did. Well, well done, sir. Hey, Ken, am I sponsored by DC? Derek is definitely not sponsored by DC. Ah, okay, just checking. Wasn't sure if it had changed. Right. Yeah. Uh, longtime FLD fan Matt Porter here, with quite the car collection, sent in this picture. It's when you're about that race life, but also about that grocery race life. Enhance eggs, milk, bananas, bread, ham, and pepper. I approve of this. You want to do this to your car? I approve. It's funny. It's comical. Ahmed Karam here. Nice pyramid pic, bro. Sent in this picture of a Mazda RX-8 with a huge ridiculous wing that says on the bottom of it, Netflix and chill. Am I missing something here? Why would you put that on your car spoiler? Am I missing a joke? Is there something that I don't know about? Would you write Netflix and chill on your car spoiler? No. Is it spoiler alert or something? I'm, I'm confused. So we can go with that's dumb? That's dumb. FD fan Morgan Williams was delivering a dump truck to a customer, AK. You know what he decided to do? Take a selfie and send it in to us because he thought it was a great truck to throw some hammers back there. AK, let me hear one. Roll some hammers back there, dear D. That's what I'm talking about. Karan Ravindran, probably said your name wrong and I'm sorry, right here, who actually has me as his cover photo on Facebook. He's been featured on the show before, apparently. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, he posted this video on our Facebook of a tractor trailering a trailer passing this guy on the Autobot. That's badass. A tractor that's going fast. Passing this guy. A tractor trailer trailering a trailer. That's cool. Standard Citroen, right? Enhance. Nope. That's an M-powered Citroen. Come on. That's dumb. Again. Thanks to Connor Davies for 